What's up gamers and collectors, DGC back with another video, finally, after 9 or 10 months of hiatus. Alright guys, so as you can tell, it's been 9 or 10 months since I've uploaded the video. It had nothing to do with the weird global catastrophe, I guess you would say, that's going on, because I don't want to say what it's actually called, because then the algorithm will strike me down freshly right when I got back. Um, so yeah, it has literally nothing to do with that. Uh, just was in a interesting predicament that I'm no longer in. I am in a new location by myself, nice and quiet, nice little area, etc., etc. So the channel can thrive here, like the way I've always wanted it to. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I really am because I have waited long enough to be able to put my full effort into this channel. Um, do I ever expect it to be like some gangbusters fucking PewDiePie crazy amount of number? Fuck no. It's probably, it's literally just not going to happen. However, I'd like to put my full effort into this finally for the first time ever. I've never actually been able to because there's always either just someone that I live with, uh, or neighbors or whatever, what have you, um, to where I can never have peace and quiet to make the videos the way I want to. Literally the only thing you're probably hearing right now is my computer because it's that quiet in this neighborhood. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, I do have some blinds right there so I could probably get some more natural lighting in here. Um, but there's a lot of actual lights in here. Um, I don't know how the lighting is really. I can see the screen on the camera right now but I think it looks relatively decent but again this is all going to take some time to reacclimate to my new uh, location and all that stuff. I finally have an actual game room, so I'm really excited about that. I can film in here, game in here, edit in here, stream in here, do whatever I want to do in here. Uh, and I'm very excited about that. This first time I've ever actually had that, so pretty, pretty, pretty excited about that, if you can't tell. Um, what is in store for the channel? Uh, pretty much all the same stuff I used to do, however, I'm going to try to do them all better, um, just because I'm trying to improve on the channel and, and, and challenge myself and just do better than I ever did before. I, I really am excited to finally be able to do all this again. Um, it's kind of weird to be sitting in front of the camera again because I haven't actually recorded a video in about six months. There was a point in time where I did make a video and I did upload it to YouTube but I never actually released it publicly uh, about what was going on. Um, I'm probably never going to actually speak on it because it's best to just let the past dwell in the past where it, where it let it fester where it lies, so to speak. Um, just was not a great uh, 2020 and 2019 for me, um, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. But with that being said, the future's looking bright. I'm, I'm in a better mood. I'm uh, just overall better. I've been eating healthy. I actually lost a lot of weight. Um, I feel better. Just peace of quiet as soon as I get off work and nobody's bothering me etc etc and it's just I don't know I'm just in a lot better of a mood so yeah uh, as far as the channel goes coming back um, things that will be different now we're in a new generation of games baby got the PS5 right here not that you can see it uh, here's the headset uh, got the uh, media remote two controllers the charging stand um, and I got five physical launch games and uh, Astrobot obviously came with everybody's PS5. I'm going to be doing a PlayStation 5 uh, video. That'll be the first actual video video that you're going to want to watch coming back from my long hiatus. Um, and then the following video will probably be uh, Games Beat It 2020 edition. Uh, I think the last time I did one of those was actually 20. 17 or 18. I want to, It was probably 2018, so I didn't do one last year, or maybe I did. I'd have to actually look, but I think, I think last year I didn't do one, but the year prior and the year prior to that I did do a beat it throughout the whole year kind of thing. This year I was very smart about it, not that you can see it, it's on my actual desktop, but I did a actual folder and I put a list in there and I think I beat so far about 25 games. Now I could cheat and do like some shoot 'em ups and like some you know beat 'em up type games and just beat those real fast to pump up those numbers. There are a couple in there, but that's because I'm super into beat 'em ups, shoot 'em ups. Uh, but a lot of this year was just beating RPGs that I've always wanted to beat and play. Um, so that's what a, a good bit of the games that I played this year were. Um, but like I said, we'll talk about that. That'll be two videos from now. Next video will be the PS5 impression video. But um, I'm excited to be back, guys, so if there's any videos and spe specifically that you do want to see, please leave them in the comments below. 
Some of you are probably going to say, all right, Alex, when are you going to finally give us those original Xbox exclusive videos in the alphabet? They're going to happen, okay? Please don't ask about that. Other videos you all can ask about. Please don't ask about those, okay? Those literally take forever to make. I just moved into a new place, so they're going to come, but give me some give me some give me some air, give me some time to breathe so I can get those the way that I want them to be, okay? Literally don't even have the games in the box yet. Just the PS5, the Switch and the PC are currently set up, so Give me some time to set all that crap up, and then I will. I promise you, they, they will. They will eventually come because the whole point of my channel even existing was to do original Xbox and Wii U content. Because nobody was doing Wii U content, and then now it's like hip to do Wii U content. But that is literally how the channel started. If you go back and look, and then original Xbox exclusives is just my bread and butter. It's what I know. I love the original Xbox. So those are the two main pillars of the channel. But obviously, I do do other things with the channel. Um, Throughout the year of 2020, I actually sold off a good bit of my collection. Nothing crazy, but I did sell off. I literally don't own a single PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 game at all anymore. Um, and there's a good reason for that. We're gonna That'll be a 2021 video series. Uh, it's an interesting concept on a series that I've never seen another YouTuber do. So uh, we'll be talking about that sometime next year. Uh, I guess that kind of also depends on current global uh, things, because again, I'm not going to say it on camera, um, how flea marketing and, and uh, uh, yard selling and that kind of stuff goes, but I think you can kind of guess where that, that video idea is going with that. But So I'm pretty excited about that because uh, PlayStation 1, I never actually had until I was about 22, I think. I'm 31 now, so I got it about 10 years ago. Now, obviously, I played it at friends' houses and that kind of stuff, but I never really got to enjoy the PlayStation 1 oh boy as it was back in the day like when things that you know release and stuff i've i've always really just mainly been a nintendo guy first and foremost even though it probably doesn't seem like it but i am nintendo first and foremost uh and then xbox i grew up with that because we're now in the fourth generation of xbox and i've well i have not had the new one yet but it literally only came out two weeks ago but i had the original xbox and that's huge part of my gaming life and memories and that kind of thing and then 360 again huge part of my life and then xbox one not even kind of it was a letdown sorry xbox dudes it was good for backwards compatibility but that's really about it um and then the xbox one hopefully with all of phil spencer's acquisitions of all these new companies he can take the company where it needs to go i, re I really am hoping hoping that that happens however it's cool that he's finally putting games on PC, but I personally think it's kind of a misstep because I literally have no need to buy an Xbox now. Um, the So it's weird. Uh, I do want one because on this, I'm super big into Fantasy Star Online because I was a huge Nintendo guy, and then they finally brought it to uh, Xbox, or Microsoft bought, I guess, brought it to America. I don't think they technically own it, so I guess still, I don't know how that works, but it's on the Xbox One and on the Windows 10. Windows 10 store sucks ass. Halo Master Chief Collection 4 just came out, literally won't even install on my computer because Windows 10 store sucks ass. The uh, Fantasy Star Online 2, again, the Windows 10 version sucks ass, so it will not cooperate with my Windows 10. I have an RTX 2070 and an i7 6700K. Uh, the 2070 is last year's mid-range model and then the i7 6700K is a few generations old at this point, yes, but it is still an i7, and I have 32 gigabytes of DDR4. Like, this is not the beefiest computer, but it's definitely not a slouch. So, like, clearly I can run Xbox 360 games on my freaking computer. Like, come on, Microsoft, what the hell? Uh, fix your fucking Windows 10 store. So, that would be one reason why I would actually want the Series X, just because Halo... Master Chief Collection, I love playing Halo, and then also Fantasy Star Online, absolutely love playing that. With that being said, I was able to crank out until level, I think 72 is what I made it to on Fantasy Star Online on the computer before it started giving me a fit. Uh, it's a well-known problem, it happens to pretty much everyone on the Windows 10 store. I could migrate my account over to Steam, but I like getting the Xbox achievements. It's an ecosystem I'm already deeply involved in. I think I have... I want to say 40,000 points. It's either 30 or 40,000 Xbox Live achievement points, which I know to some people probably isn't that much, but to me, it, it, it's a good achievement. It's literally an achievement to have that many achievements. Um, and I'm proud of my gamer score because I've been building them up since uh, 
when fuck when did the Xbox come out? That was oh six. Was it oh six? No, it was oh five. It was it was November twenty second of oh five, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I got it launch month. I didn't. I mean, I don't know. I can't even remember at this point. It was fifteen years ago, but I had the, I had the Xbox three hundred and sixty within the first month of launch. I don't think it was the first batch. I think it was the second batch. Um, but yeah, so the channel will come back soon, stronger than ever. Really will be. Uh, I've never been in a better position to make content, and I couldn't be happier. There's two nice shelves here. I'm gonna fill those up with games, then the camera's gonna slide over here, and then that'll be the backdrop for most of the videos, and or here, or just kind of maybe in the middle. I don't know. Kind of just figuring things out. The first couple months is just gonna be figuring out the camera again, lighting and that kind of stuff. Sony Vegas, figuring out the setup of where I want things, and I'm gonna get a new coffee table and maybe some backdrop stuff, and you know, maybe even a new TV stand, because now I got a new TV and I can't even fit it on this TV. It 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 fits, but it ha it's a 55, so it's nothing crazy. Um, I was rocking a 42-inch LG Plasma 720p for the last 11 years. That was the high-def TV I had. It's still a decent TV. It's really good for Xbox, uh, GameCube, PS2, 360, and PS3. It's still probably one of the better TVs for that because it does compo it has it has two component inputs on it which was good enough because I had a splitter and then it had three HDMI's on it and it had um, a VGA input on that TV so it was a really badass TV it just 720p and 2020 just wasn't cutting it for me so I really wanted a 4k TV for the PlayStation 5 so I made it happen uh, and I could not be happier I got a Sony X900H which again is not top of the line it's middle of the line it's a pretty good ass TV I'm really enjoying it and now with that being said, I'm going to actually go back and play most of my PlayStation 4 library, but enjoy it enhanced with 4K, uh, maybe even enhanced frame rates, depending on if the PlayStation 5 uh, it's about to enter uh, rest mode here. Uh, you know, it really depends on the developers if they want to actually uh, upgrade that crap. But again, we'll talk about that in a future video here. This has gone long enough. Uh, as I said, I'll be back here in the next week or so with a PlayStation 5 impressions video. So look forward to that. And I uh, appreciate you guys waiting for me. And uh, peace out for now. Until next time. Come here, you mother. I'm